Hello, Aries and Cross Watchers. This is going to be your mid-February. I'm actually kind of like getting it out because I'm lazy and such, right? I have a little candle here. He's just, he's a shit. He's all excited. So, you know. There we go. Anyway, Aries and Cross Watcher. This is for the sign of Aries and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. Thank you very kindly. Um, if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose away it goes. No point in worrying about shit that ain't about you and ain't none of your business unless you're nosy like I am. Then it's all shits and giggles. Alright, and if you want personal, the info is down in the description box below. Please enjoy. Anyway, uh, oh god, someone's already dinging me. Jesus. Anyway. So, Aries and Cross Watchers, right? Yours is kind of interesting. First off, I got the uh, Dolly deck, which is like all the imagery is very, ooh. That's almost like a hand command. Yeah, never mind. That, never mind. It's like it's getting birthed. Ew. How interesting. I'm just looking at these. I'm not actually trying to read them, but yeah, the artwork on these cards are very, very much definitely would be my stack. He did very good work. It took me a while to find these too. And as cheap as they were, because this is like way more. But anyway, I'm just bragging now and I shouldn't be. But Aries, first thing about this deck, right? So over here is the sun, but it doesn't look like the traditional sun, but it does have Leo's card in it, even though it's marked with Gemini symbol, and I don't know why, but okay. Um, these, yeah, and another thing, these cards are weird because they have different zodiacs associated with the wrong cards, I guess. But look at this right here. This looks more like the traditional sun than this one does. It's a very strange, like, it's weird imagery. And the weirder thing is, is like the King of Wands reverses over here, and then we have the Hierophant who represents Taurus over here. So it's kind of like, who's who in this, you know? But anyway, Aries, we do have the sun in your card, and it's almost like, with the way that this dude is going around and all this, right? It is, like, he's all dressed up in this red. He's got a ribbon tied around his penis, looking like a present, with his little, like, grill poker hot dog cooker thing, and his little line in the background being like, we're gonna play Blue's Clues, because he literally looks like Blue went off that show, right? But there's a feeling of detachment when it comes to community, morality, hell, even a commitment or a established, um authority of sorts. Maybe there's a separation here somewhere, Aries. Um, in the situation down below, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is reversed, but it's like, here's a bunch of people sleeping, just getting ready to wake up, but here it's like they're being held back, or their alarm didn't go off because someone decided to turn the alarm off on them. When it comes to this Ten of Pentacles <laughs> scenario here, It's like things just don't seem to be coming together in the home situation. Which I think is bothering you a lot more than uh, what's being let on right now, but it's whatever. We haven't figured it out yet, but there's something here with this connection that doesn't seem to be making sense. We have the wants and wishes with the moon right here. Look at this. It's like there's a chick watching this gigantic crab looking thing, and it does have cancer symbol so it's not that off but still it's just attacking people with its like vaporized pincers of redness or whatever it is I don't know or maybe it's just putting out a stink the ladies watching it could definitely be a cancer and she might be watching it through her cup of emotions whatever that is like whatever influence or whatnot that seeped through the city she watched and is now like watching it over and over again in her cup her cup of emotion However, the obstacles and challenge with this, it's almost like she wants to live vicariously while the crab goes and does what it does, you know. We got the Five of Cups right here, and it's reversed. It's like there's a dramatic exit, and definitely, it's so dramatic, nobody wants to go back in through the door, right? 
obviously. A wish fulfillment that had a lot more hubris than it did fulfillment, I will say. Hmm. Yeah, it's like someone's, like, it, it, it's like someone's happy to be broken up with. You know? At least that's what it feels like to me. Over here in the fears and rejections. The Knight of Coin, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Someone like slowly but surely coming with an offer, but it's weird to me because literally this looks like the Sun card from traditional tarot, just because the flag, the horse, the kid on the horse, it, that's literally what it looks like, except it's going the other way. Like making an offering to something old. But then we have the King of Wands right here, where he's just all bitter and such. Then we have how the shit starts, that'll end the Eight of Pentacles. Look at this dude laying like little potatoes in the ground in order to flourish and create branches in a family tree. It's like a um, development in something. And trying to be wise with that development with the Queen of Swords. Very, very analytical, if you will. Crazy thing, definitely water signs, chariot, it's reverse. This card kind of freaks me out, and I don't say that much about a lot of things, but it's like, I don't know where this dude's going, and I feel like he's not really open enough to let anybody know what he's feeling in order to um, corral or correct himself. Okay, so, let us see, y'all. How are you guys doing? It's been a while since I touched you. So, the sun with the Hierophant reverse. Someone seems like they are cool, possibly happy, possibly looking for clues like Blue's Clues when it comes to like, probably severing a commitment or the lack of commitment. Ew. The Devil reverse could be with a Capricorn. Mm, but I don't feel like this is like negative either. Or maybe you're getting out of this, um negative kind of symbiotic relationship you know but if it's with the Capricorn I feel like mmm weird because it's like there's some sort of connection here definitely red threaded guy did the heart in his hand you know who's too immature or ignorant to really offer anything I think hmm Aries and Crosswatcher, does this person just not offer something to you? It's definitely an Earth side evolved here, either a Taurus or a Capricorn, but it doesn't seem like they're very, um... Us, they might be kind of ignorant, honestly. They, like, they're probably just like, meh. Either that or you're severing ties with an unhealthy relationship because, you know, um, it's, it might be either bringing out the worst in you, or you feel like the investment isn't enough, or you feel like it's just not worth the time or the energy. The situation with the Wheel of Fortune reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. Like, things are not popping up in this family home, right? It's kind of like this, uh, it's this wish fulfillment again. It's like someone wished for it not to work out. So what, someone wish for some people not to wake up or not to be bored or some other shit? That's kind of weird. Because this looks like Wheel of Fortune looks like to me with the reverse. It's got, and it's got a, I think Capricorn symbol on that too. So you definitely could be dealing with that Aries. But yeah, it's like someone made a wish about this with this Knight of Cups. Which is weird because it's over here too when it comes to like separating in a really bad way, but it's like, oh, I really didn't want this to happen, but it's like... It's like someone keeps making terrible fucking wishes, and then, like, they come true. Or whatever. Oh, and they're keeping that shit quiet. Aries and Crosswatcher, is somebody working some shit on you? Like, do you got, like, a little magician of your own, like, messing with you? 
Because someone's keeping secrets about what they really wanted to happen. Um, speaking of which, we get the moon over here where it's like the crab thing attacking the fucking city. This person's just watching it from, like, vicariously. Like, the Queen of Cups can often talk about somebody with love, but I feel like this person with all of their love is just kind of like, hmm. You know, they need to take a real hard look on the inside with the Hermit. Like, just be like, mmm. Like, I keep looking at this cup. It feel, like, it's almost like it feels like a trophy, whatever they wished for. It's like, ah, mission accomplished, but I feel like that's kind of like... I don't know, man. Your person is just kind of fucking weird, that's all. That's all. It'll be okay, though. That. They were impatient? Or maybe looking inside to see that things don't mesh well, that maybe like people don't communicate together the way that they're supposed to? Like there's no enmeshment, as uh, my previous shrink would say to me. Um, there's nothing that's really causing the coming together of two things to almost, like, mimic each other, I feel like. But that's a weird way of saying that. I'm dropping one more. Or, or I'll just show two. Yeah, so, Aries, I feel like you were having a hard time trying to recover your position as Emperor. Or maybe this is you, Crosswatcher, but it feels like there was some domination you had, or there was domination you do have. But I also feel like it was something was draining that. Like, you couldn't rest because you had to keep this control. Which is just like, mmm. Okay. Aries, I think you might have... Okay, so whoever this queer is... Could be you. Could be your person. Could be somebody completely different. Could be your turtle. It's like they were secretly wishing while you were, like, doing your best. Where you were secretly wishing, while they, while the other person was doing their best with the relationship, one of the two, you know, uh, probably bad judgment calls back and forth with things. When it came to a new beginning, uh, somebody wanted a, like a family, a union, something to sprout up, and they were willing to keep putting in the coin to keep the balance to keep it, you know, whatever. And I think whoever this was was really impatient, and I think they needed to figure that out. Obstacles and challenges. So this shit ends terribly, right? Let's just say the obstacle and challenge is having this end in a way where, like, you get your wish, but when the person does this, the wish is going to be like, oh shit, I actually didn't mean for that to happen that way. Damn, you know, comes out worse than what they thought. Then that's probably the source of the unrest, Aries and the Cross Watcher, with the Four of Swords reverse. And now it's like the Ten of Wands reverse. It's like you're overburdened by shit now. It's like, okay, if you have like a house or a business or whatever with this person, or they have this with you, either or, they're going to be overburdened by all the responsibilities. But this is a wish they've been wanting for a while, so it's kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know? Okay. Fears and rejections. Knight of Coins with the King of Wands. Could be you, Aries. Could be the, your little Earth sign you're dealing with. Could be, also be a Water sign. Honestly, everybody's fucking up here, but it's most likely, like, somebody with a lot of water in their chart. Justice Reverse. Okay, so this King of Wands is just, like... Looking at the slow moving offer by this knight of coins, just being like, why should I take anything from you? And it's just like, he's not weighing like what is and is justice. It's like, there's no balance with what he's looking at. It's kind of like, it's kind of like no matter what this person would do, they'll always be judged as like unfairly for whatever reason. Or like, that's what this uh, king of wands seems to be doing. He's just judging unfairly and not being 
justified in his actions. In order to make a decision or cause a decision to happen with the Two of Wands. Like, either making someone decide to wander or stick around for that injustice that keeps, like, spewing out his mouth. One of the two. Um, that's kind of fucked up. You know, like, you're gonna be mean to someone until, like, they decide to leave. That's fucked. Alright. Eight of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords. How shit starts, how it'll end. Someone wants to be logical about their investments. Which is probably why they're worried about it over here with the obstacles and challenges. But she's got her back to that, so she's probably not paying attention to that with all of her decision-making shit, I feel like. Much like the two of ones dude up here, she's got her back turned because it's like, eh, should I stay or should I go? However, the beginning theme is the chariot reverse. This person might just uh, stick around... But if they stick around, the impatience is going to come in. And then they're going to want to start a fight, you know. Mind you, um, how this shit starts, how it'll end, a page of cups, definitely water in this. Um, someone is trying to offer their love in the most sensible, maybe childish ways, because, like, pages are immature, but they're trying. She's got a big old bowl. She's just like, look, I made you soup, baby. I made you soup. Ah, oh, hoping to get a cup back. Hmm. So yeah, Aries and Crosswatcher, maybe this person does have a... Okay, maybe this person loves you dearly, but it, they're, they're just tired of your shit, and they're just like, you know what, I'm gonna break up with this person. Then they realize, oh, I can't. Maybe they plot something, and then it's just like, oh, I didn't mean for you to get angry, and then it's just like, what, what did you expect? It's Aries. Like, Aries looks for a fight every five minutes. <laughs> uh, the ending theme is the tower. Oh, God, yeah. Aries, either you or your person, whoever this is within your shit, right? I guess they're, I guess they're even prepared to start an argument. Because that's what it feels like. It feels like, man, I don't want to argue... But I'm gonna win this bitch one way or another. It's just like just starting a fight for whatever reason. I'm not even sure if it's a good reason. Cause it's like it's a wish that they really don't even mean to make. Hell, I don't even think it's a wish that anybody wants them to make. They just decide to do it because fuck it. It's a, it's almost like a feeling of you know like I deserve better. But it's just like better than what. Like, you, your person, because, you know, like, if you think that, like, someone can be better than the person you're with, you probably don't love them anyway. And that's what I mean. It's kind of like, it, it's almost like someone being taken for granted. And the person who's taking the other person for granted is just kind of like, you know, reminded that that person is not... Yeah, Aries... You might lose your shit on this person. Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's like whatever they say or do or present to you, Aries, you're going to drop it like the Page of Cups up here. And just be like, what the fuck? What happened when the, when the fish? Situation down below where someone gets their wish, but it's like a nightmare wish. and But they're keeping their secret about it, like keeping this shit vicariously to themselves, right? But that shit keeps hitting them in the face every day. King of Cups reverse. Yeah, there's a lot of water in either someone's chart or you're dealing with a water sign, man. Or an earth sign. Um, not so much fire or air. But it's definitely a lot of emotions and a lot of, like, you know, stalling, I feel like, with all the earth in here. Like, definitely with pentacles, it's like stalling. Hell, the Wheel of Fortune is ruled by Capricorn. There's definitely stalling. <laughs> that's like obstacle and challenge shit. So that's just like, ooh. Mm -mm -mm. But it's like, yeah, this person can keep their mouth shut, but it's like it hits them in the face every day. You know, because they won't come out and just say what they want to say. So what? They're just, so they're just starting a fight? <laughs> okay, that's fine. We're going to start a fight because... I guess they can't be really honest. Let's see. 
Hits him in the face every day. And then it's... Oh, God, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Aries. This person is weird. Okay. Like, first off. They're, they're weird. Like, they don't want to be with you, but they don't mean to drive you off either. But they're going to keep pretending that that's what they wanted. Because, I don't know, maybe they have just as much pride, if not more, than you. Which would explain the earth. You know? But, uh, let's see. Yes. We got a book. You know, someone listened to other people and put their sword down in order to get a victory with somebody else. But then that person ended up walking away while you were probably sitting there just being like, what the fuck? You know, I it took all the time to offer this shit. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going home. And then they're like, wait, where are you going? Like, they literally come back right as soon as you turn around. Almost. And it's just like, what? Are, are, you, are you serious? You just... Oh my god, I hate you. You know? Wants and wishes, Aries and Crosswatcher, looking inside to see about this lack of patience and lack of coming together with this patience, you know? It's almost like an overtime thing. You know. Hmm. Someone feels stuck in the middle of a battle. Or like they're being dragged through something that they have no idea about. Uh, this is in order to drop swords. Like, in like, that's. <laughs> there are three people, even though that's a two of swords, but it's like, someone needs to drop their swords. Like, who's gonna heal my broken heart? One more. And wake me up inside. Shit. Mmm. <laughs> How strange. So wait, you feel like someone, like two people are fighting for, like this queer is weird. It's like this queer wants people to fight over them in order for them to feel valuable again and to be lifted back up like the beautiful soul they are in the sky. What an odd person. Obstacles and challenges though with like not getting any rest because of the burden. Of the Ten of Wands reverse. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah. Jerry reverse again. And Jerry is reversed because someone doesn't know how to use the Google phone. They don't know how to use Google Maps. They're kind of lost on some shit. They'll be like, oh, I don't know how any of this works. That water energy again. Cancer's card. Oh, because there is an empress here. They have no idea. It's like this empress. She's got all of her ducks in a row. And she's proud of that shit that she lives her wand up. Yeah. Queer, or not, Aries and Crosswatcher, this person who you're possibly dealing with, or this could be you. Um, mm. I don't think they know how to pay bills without you. Or you don't know how to pay bills without them. It's either or. But it's like, you know, they're looking through their phone and be like, how do I set up an account with this? And it's just like, you're over here. I got her a Libra or Taurus is over here as well, Venetian energy. Uh, just chilling with your ducks in a row like, oh, this is nice. This is nice. This is nice. Or maybe they're trying to be the Empress, but they have no way of getting there because they can't read Google Maps. Here's M reductions, right? Lack of just this lack of justice leads to a two-way decision, right? Things are, have gotten set up. The world, Aries and cross watches. Oh yeah, it was all set up to like set your ass on fire, like just you know just drag your ass through the fire, being like, look, we have to feed everybody else. You're the youngest, so you're the most tender. Get in there. But mommy, I just want to no, 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 no. Don't mommy me. Tonight it's Master, and Master says burn, you know? Like, little dark things like that, right? <laughs> one more on that one. It's like, someone feels like they like everything was set up for it, you know? 
And they have to take a leap of faith to start something new. They could go and fake their death and no one would fucking know. You know, it's better than starting shit with the, with the person that, like, they're dealing with. But I feel like they feel like that's you. Mm, it's like they put in all the instrumentation or the causes for the unhappiness. Now they just want to escape. They want to escape because they don't want to start anything new. Because, you know, like, if she sees him walking, she's going to run after him. So it's got to be quick. He's just like, got to go fast. Right? Got to go fast. As it starts how it'll end. One person's trying tentatively to offer their cup, page of cups. And then the knight of cup comes running back for that cup. For a, I can't tell if it's two different people running for different cups. Lack of commitment. Once again, this Hyderfin, and like he's pointing to this book, but he's making shit up. It's not actually in the book, but he's gonna rub it in your face anyway. Well, the book says, I don't think that's what that book says, Bishop. Oh, well, too bad I'm the only one who knows how to read in this uh, time period, isn't it? So this is what the book says. <laughs> oh, fucking dumb. Anyway, there's a lack of commitment here with both of these people. It's like they're both running in different directions. One's like Paige, one is Knight. They're both immature. One's just a little bit more mature than the other. But they're both running in separate directions, too. Yeah, it's like the, the Hierophant, because once again, he's here, all the way up here, so it definitely could be Taurus you're dealing with. Um, it's like, okay, they make shit up, right? We've already established that, and they make shit up in order to get serviced, either by you or by other people, like, you know, like, it, it says in the book, you're going to bring me my dinner every night at, like, 6 p.m., you know? You know, that controlling aspect of Taurus, which, you know, not even I like. And I'll tell you one thing, if there's anybody as hard-headed as, like, a fucking Taurus, it's Capricorn. I don't know how many fucking Tauruses I've argued with, and, like, argued with, and argued with, and then walked away, and then they came back for more. Ugh. But it definitely feels like some shit where it's, like, um... Is that... It, it's, like, someone's got a really hard-headed nature. But that's your reading, Aries and Cross Watcher. So, if you enjoyed this, like, share, subscribe. You ain't got to do if you don't want to. But I greatly appreciate it, of course. Um, I will see you guys later. I love your face, and you take it easy until next time. Bye. -bye.